<sighs> Guys, some weird stuff is happening with my ROG Ally. I was totally planning on having a great night tonight of gaming, but two updates have happened and I think it screwed up my Ally. The first one was this cumulative update preview for Windows 11 that just got installed today, 25th of August. So that was the first one. And the second update today was, I'm in the My Asus app, and it was the, the firmware update, the 312 firmware update. And I'll show you how it screwed it up in a few ways. Uh, sorry for the rawness of this, guys. No script, no music. This is just off the cuff. Let me show you what's happened. So there's at least four really weird things that have happened, okay? The first one is that this display resolution is grayed out. Cannot pick a different resolution. And also the scale, it's actually got 100% recommended. Now if I flip to that, then my screen is like completely shrunk. I don't know what on earth has happened. And that is the re obviously that's unusable. It's too small. So I can't actually use this. So that's why 150%, which it doesn't recommend, that kind of puts it back to the normal size. Okay, so that's 100. This, what size is this? This is 100 and let's see what this was. This is 150%. Okay, because 100% is too small. Now thinking back before these two updates, then it usually is 150%, but it normally has right here recommended. And I don't know why after these two updates today, the firmware update and the Windows update, um, when it loaded up, it was just on the, at that 100%, and that's what really freaked me out because it's so small. So I thought it may be an AMD driver issue. So if we go into AMD, the app, to try and have a look at that, then it doesn't even load up for some reason. Look, doesn't even load up. Let me restart the Ally and let's see if it loads up. Okay, so I've just restarted my Ally. Let's see if the AMD app oh, loads up and it says this, Windows update may have automatically replaced your AMD graphics driver. Hence the version of the AMD software you have launched is not compatible with your currently installed AMD graphics driver. Great. <sighs> the third thing that is weird is that in Yuzu, when I try and load that up, it says Yuzu has encountered an error while running the video core. What on earth is a video core? This is usually caused by outdated GPU drivers, including integrated ones. Please see the log for details. So somehow, somewhere today, one of these drivers has messed up this thing called the video core. <sighs> and the fourth and the most worrying thing is that games are glitching both audio wise and graphical wise. I was playing a bit of GT5 just before. This is remote playing from my Xbox and it was playing perfectly fine before the firmware update and also the Windows update. Um, it's just, you'll, you can see here, just listen to this. Hey, girl. Hey, baby. So there's lots of... <laughs> It's not showing a GPU at the top right. It's not showing the APU wattage. It's not showing any FPS. And it's glitching badly. Ah, so as of now, right here, right now, this, this is no script. It's not polished. Do apologize about this, guys. Normally I like to make this really nice and polished, the, the videos, because you guys deserve the very best. But um, I'm going to try and do some research. Let's try and see how we can try and fix this. Let's try. It may be the new firmware, so I posted onto our community poll on the channel um, 
to say that it was released. Has anyone had any problems? What you guys think about this? 55% uh, of you haven't updated yet. Uh, Seam360 in the comments said, my ally was performing better a month ago before a couple of consecutive updates. So it seems like, not particularly this one, but updates somewhere along the line do kind of make the ally have a, have a bit of a wobble. Arr. Okay, so I don't think it's the firmware update. I've got a feel I've gone back into the AMD app and I think the Windows update, it's replaced the AMD graphics driver. Maybe it's something to do with that perhaps. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little bit of research and come straight back and let's try and figure this out. Okay guys, this could be it. Is this gonna work? Please let this work. So I've gone into device manager and display adapters and have clicked on the AMD Radeon graphics. Uh, let's try clicking on properties online. It says this may do it. Uh, driver, let's go to driver. Uh, and I can't roll back the driver. It's grayed out. That was a possible solution. Oh no. Ah. Okay, hang on a minute, guys. I've just just looked, and it seems like it's not enabled. Could this be it? Okay, let's let's click enable device. Maybe the Windows update has disabled it some way, which is weird. Uh, but let's go on enable device. Is this gonna work? Has it worked? Has it worked? Has it worked? Okay, let's go to. Let's go to the AMD app. Okay, let's restart. Let's restart. I'm going to restart the ally and let's see if that enabling has worked. Please let it work. Okay, I've just restarted the ally. Okay, I've enabled. I've enabled the... I've enabled that. And for some reason, the Windows update has, may have disabled it, which has created all these problems and stresses. But let's now go into settings and it shouldn't, it shouldn't display. It should say as it was before the Windows update, 150% recommended, okay? Because that's what screwed up the screen. Let's see if it does that. Let's have a look. <gasps> it's done it. It's done it. <laughs> it's done it. Yes. Yes, 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 150% recommended, and it doesn't look screwed up. It looks back to normal. Let's have a look at the other stuff. Well, well, just before we look at the other stuff, I forgot, let's just double check the display resolution. This was grayed out before the update. Let's see, it looks, yes. Even my lovely brand new that I've, Done a couple of videos on this week, the 900p display, that that is available as well. So all the resolutions and displays are back to normal. Let's check out some of the other stuff that was screwed up. Okay, the second thing uh, was that error message in the AMD app that said Windows update replaced the AMD graphics card. It shouldn't have that now. Let's double check this when I go into the AMD app. Let's have a look. Is this, please don't come up. Please let this be... <gasps> It's okay, it's back, it's back. No error messages in the Asus app. This could be it, folks. This could be it, guys. Okay, the third thing was Yuzu. Let's just quickly try and load a game. Let's see if an error message comes up. Let's have a look at this. And it's loading, no error message, yes. Okay, and the fourth area was the gameplay, okay? And already the stats are here, the GPUs here, the APU wattage, FPS, absolutely rock solid, 60. Just walking around, let's see if there's any audio or, or visual glitches. Let's uh, let's load this up here and uh, turn this up. Let's have a listen. Yeah, super smooth. This has been fixed, guys. We've found the solution. Yes. Guys, so that was it. Thank you so much for coming on this journey uh, with me. I wasn't even going to record this, but I was starting to have all these issues. Um, 
and completely threw out all of my planned night of gaming tonight. Um, but I wanted, I thought, you know what, I'm going to record this uh, and hopefully walk through this together. Um, try and find a solution uh, from the updates today. And uh, I think that we have, I think that I think that we found it. Thank you for coming on this journey. I do apologise just for the rawness, the realness of this video. You know what? On, on the channel, we've done fifty videos. And this is the first video in those 50 without a script, with no music, without any slick editing <laughs> that I try to strive to do because you guys deserve the very, very best. Um, so I do apologise for the rawness in that. But thank you for sticking with me. And we know that that is the solution, okay? Guys, if you update today, if you update today, Yep, today on the 25th of August, the Windows update, then it seems it seems to disable the AMD Radeon graphics. So you need to go to Device Manager and you need to click in the Display Adapters, right click, and this will be disabled, okay? And you need to enable it. You do need to enable it. Obviously, it's enabled for me now because we worked it out. So it showed me disable, but you need to enable the device on the AMD Radeon graphics driver. Guys, um, if you've liked this video <laughs> and enjoyed sharing my stress, then uh, please hit that like button. Um, if you're new to the channel uh, and you want to see these updates, it's normally not as crazy and as raw and as real as this. Um, it's a lot, usually a lot more polished than this. Uh, but please uh, subscribe and hit that notification so you so you get all of the content right here on the channel. Normally at this time, I do an inspirational quote. <laughs> uh, a lot, you know, regular viewers and re regular viewers of the channel know that I do regular inspirational quotes at the end of every video. I feel a little bit stressed out. Shall we do it or not? You know what? Let's do it. For sticking right to the end of the video, I've got a bonus treat. Here it is. Oh, just before I do that, <laughs> sorry guys, this video is such a mess. <laughs> Okay, I just want to share this with you though. This is something that I saw online and it says uh, Best Buy Chandler. He said he had returned more allies than new ones. The lowest price was $602. I asked two employees and they said difficulty in setting it up was the number one reason for returns of the allies in Best Buys. And it's stuff like this, what I've just experienced tonight where... People have just, I know many of you guys are, are really technical, you know, really fantastic in terms of, uh, you know, your technical ability wise, you're very, very knowledgeable and uh, you can understand why things like this tonight, um, you know, has kind of tripped people up and maybe they've returned the allies because of stuff like this. So I just want to share that. Let's get back to, let's get back to that inspirational quote. Wrinkles means you laughed, grey hair means you cared, and scars mean you lived. Well, tonight I definitely had some wrinkles through the stress of this, um, and we all go through tough times and difficult times, so stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to get Chiakit 2.2, the massive update in seven easy steps. Listen, guys, I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.